everyone, good morning. Well, this last weekend I was hired to do a party. So I was doing different women's makeup at a party. It was so, so fun, by the way. And I had a really exciting thing happen. <laughs> and as you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, I've struggled with my skin forever. And a woman said to me at this party, as I was standing in bright sunlight, so that's a huge test of this, she said, you have perfect skin, you probably don't need to wear makeup. Oh my god. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, I have terrible skin. I have melasma, I have acne, I have all kinds of issues. Right now I have nothing on my face. Um, so you can really see, and I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see that indeed my skin is not perfect. Um, so she said this to me and I was just like kind of blown away and I kind of, you know, when I had a moment, kind of snuck a peek in a mirror and I said, oh my god. So my skin did look really, really good and I want to share with you exactly what I did because like I think anyone would do when someone told me that, I kind of freaked out a little bit and I was like, oh my gosh, what exactly did I use, you know? because I want to recreate it and it wasn't hard to remember and there's a couple things that are slightly different in my routine but it's basically the same routine I've showed you before and I just wanted to share it with you again so that you know you have an up you know the opportunity to do what I did so I have nothing under my eyes I haven't used any concealer all I did was my eye makeup and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see. See, I have freckles um, right here. I have melasma around my face. And I do still have some breakouts. So it's not perfect. It is not perfect. Um, and I'm going to share with you what I used that day that was that made such a, a flawless look. And that day I started with Primed and Poreless from Too Faced, which is a, conce or a, a primer I really enjoy. And it's not terribly expensive, which is a bonus. So I just smoothed it on. And definitely under the eyes because I'm going to put concealer there. And um, it was just like that. Nothing too crazy. Next I'm going to use a little concealer under my eyes because I fear I will forget if I don't do it now. Since my routine is so out of sync today. So I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Yes, Vanilla. And I will use a brush to sort of buff that in. This is probably way too big. <laughs> Let me see. I'll use the Sigma E40, the um, synthetic version. So I'm just going to kind of buff in the concealer. I've already done my eye makeup, so... I don't want to you know, muss that up, but there we go. All right, so what I did that morning was I took Clinique Stay Matte, and I put a little blob on the back of this mirror, or on this mirror, and one pump of Immaculate, which is from Hourglass, and it is, this is so gross. It's all gummed up. Um... It's amazing. I did buy a backup during the VIB sale because I just, I know I'm going to use it and why not get it on sale. So I did one pump of this. This is almost gone, by the way. Okay, I think I will open it and just put a blob there. Okay. So I have about that much foundation. It doesn't, I mean, it looks like a lot, but it isn't. And then I took this brush that's fairly new to me, the Sedona Lay 602, and I mix them together on the back of the mirror. And then I just kind of wiped it off, and I put a minimal amount, yes, there's a big blob there, I'm just going to kind of wipe that off, but a fairly minimal amount on the brush that day. Um, and I just started buffing it in. And I'd add a little as I went along. Like this. And just kind of, I work in downward strokes somewhat because the hairs on your face, you don't want to ruffle them up because then it makes your skin look not so smooth. Okay. 
And when I work, I never st um, skip the step of concealer. At home, if I'm going to the store, whatever, I, I can tend to be a little lazy about concealer on spots. So I, I don't always do that. So I'm just going to admit that. <laughs> I'll admit it. And so um, when I'm working, I always make a point to really get rid of any kind of craziness on my skin. Because, I mean, you don't want to make up artist arriving that looks like a mess. All right. Next, I took MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. It looks like this. This is really old. I've had this forever. I swear it's like the never-ending concealer pot. And then I took a brush. Um, this is just like a synthetic eyeshadow brush, but it's from Coastal Scents, I believe. It's really old. And I just kind of, you know, get the concealer on it. And then I just sort of dotted it on any areas that look like they could use a little help. Always here, I have like some major freckles right there. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this brush again with the whatever's left of the foundation on it and just kind of buff the concealer in so it's not sitting on top of the skin and obvious. Okay. So that's how that's starting to shape up. So you don't really see any of the major things going on there. So then, what was I using that day? I used the Goss Makeup Artist brushes, which I've actually gotten quite a lot of compliments when I use, and the NARS powder. And I took much maybe like that not much and this number one brush I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see kind of what I'm doing and I just sort of tap 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 I don't want too much on the brush and I'm just tapping it on top of the foundation in the areas where I have pores basically that show up a lot and on top of where I put the concealer So if you've gotten these brushes, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them, but I really like them. And then I get kind of shiny up here, so I'm just going to definitely make sure I get powder right there. Okay. Then I was wearing the Marc Jacobs bronzer, and I used the number two Goss brush for this. And I was kind of contouring sort of with it. And I also just put it where the sun would kind of hit. I mean, not really contouring, but, you know, just kind of going under the cheekbones and the chin area and down the neck a little bit. I love this brush, by the way. It's my favorite in the collection. Um, so that was what I did with this. And then I, same brush, I used the... Well, I, that day I used something else, but today I'm going to use the Rockateur blush from Benefit. Same brush, like I said. This is really pretty. I think this works well on everybody. You can't say that about every product, that's for sure, but this one's really easy to wear. So I just really make sure that's sort of buffed in and as natural as possible. Then on top of that, I've been using this and really enjoying it. This is the Laura Mercier um, highlighter, and it was a sort of a special one. I think you can still order it. It was benefiting cancer. And I put it right there, and then on the Cupid's bow. Okay, so I've basically got my face all settled, and then I'm going to spray the Scandinavia Bridal Finish. And I believe this sort of takes the powdery edge off your makeup. So yeah, so that was sort of my face routine. And you can see, you know, I can still see this, that bugs me. But anyway, <laughs> um, in the light, it looks very, very good and very natural. And in photos, it's perfect, which is really fun. 
Um, this is really a great product. If you haven't tried this, I don't think you can go wrong. It's a no-brainer. It really does hold everything in place. And my brides tell me when I do their makeup in the morning, it looks just as good at night. So that's always a good thing. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I really feel that the big difference in this routine from what I've been doing in the past is essentially I'm not blobbing the product on the brush. I'm kind of really, really dispersing it on the flat surface and taking a minimal amount and adding and adding and adding. And in the past, I think I just kind of blopped the br brush in and, bleh, and spread it around. So that's a big difference. Also, I feel that this brush is quite superior to the other brushes I own for foundation application. And the reason for that, I think, is it it grabs the color slightly better and places it better. Whereas I think these Sigma brushes sort of tend to eat a lot of foundation. This one doesn't. So I'm not really sure how they're different other than this is pink. Um, they're obviously both synthetic brushes. This one is far, 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 far better. And um, I'm going to definitely be getting more of these when they have a sale. And they seem to have a sale very often, so that's very exciting. That brush is really amazing. And then, of course, the Wayne Goss brushes. But um, I don't, you know, I love these. I feel that I'm getting amazing results with these. So between those things, that's sort of what I think has changed with my routine. But when I go out in the sun, and I think this is really key, my face does not look made up. It looks like really good skin. And I think that combination of products between the the foundations and the Scandinavia and, you know, making sure I'm actually using concealer because I don't always do that. Um, really made for a flawless finish that day. But having someone notice that is like really just so exciting. I had to share that. So hopefully this routine would work for you and maybe it's giving you something to think about as far as products. But I, I really believe in all of these products. I try to gear my channel to show you ways to do things for less money. I, I don't ever want to go, oh, you really need something super expensive. But if you struggle with acne and oily skin like I do, Immaculate is really, really a good way to go. And you get a lot more wear out of it if you mix it with something else. And you still, in my opinion, get all the benefits of the kaolin clay and the, the skincare benefits of this product, even though you're mixing it with something else. And then you, it lasts a lot longer. So that's my thoughts on that, and I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm available via Twitter always, um, Persian Diva 77 and I'm on Instagram as well. So I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.